as a church. But also those who today are enjoying today, we pray to thank God for what he has done for these holy people. Jesus invites us, be perfect just as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Holiness is not a specific vocation reserved for only a few, but it is a universal vocation that Jesus offers to all of us. Therefore, we ask the saints to pray for us that we might love our God and neighbors the way Jesus taught us so that we may enjoy with them in heaven after this life. We also pray for all people who have died. We ask God to bring them to the joyful banquet of heaven to be with God and saints for us.
which no one could count, could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood there before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might to be our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beloved. See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we, that we may be called the children of God. Yet, so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall see has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him. For we shall, for we shall see Him as He is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure, as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
and person that loved Jesus and will never obey the devil. All your answers, give you give, give us some of hands, yes. Today you 
were the dress that you dress like them. These people, the church recognized them, declared them, and declared them as said officially, eh? Officially. However, in another sense, we can say we have said heaven. Eh? We have said heaven. What did St. Helen do? What did, it, what did she do? She found the true cross of Christ, not just only finding the, the true cross of Christ, she did many things, eh? Many things in her life. So, these people, the church says, you know what? These people who recognize them, the virtue, the sacrifices, they are made to live a heroic life. Heroic life is someone who makes sacrifices, eh? Someone who sacrifices their lives. Who suffer to sacrifice even whatever, whatever they have in life and to put it into service, into the service of God. To help the brothers and sisters. No matter what, they persevere. No matter what they persevere, no matter what they are facing in life, they remain strong in the faith. They remain strong in the love of Christ. Nothing, no one can turn them away. Nothing, they will not exchange anything for Christ. They love Jesus. They love Jesus. And they love Jesus. By loving Jesus, they were trying to love their neighbors. Eh? They were trying to love the brothers, the sisters. And some of them get killed. Some of them get murdered. They kill them for their faith. Some of them went to mission to other countries. And they get killed. Yes. yes. 
and also to have in the house too, eh? to have mommy, to have mommy in the house. Sometimes when he goes to work, but you, you have to help to make mommy happy too, yes? To do something in the house. You are doing good. Also, as students, you are called to obey the teachers. You are called to do your homework. And we are called to respect each other. How sad it is when you bully your, your, your classmates. When you are bullying your, your classmates. When you are saying bad things about your classmates. Today, we are celebrating all these men and 
on living a life of holiness. So my friends, my brothers and sisters, living a life of sin is not easy. If I was to tell you, oh, it's easy, it's not. It's not. Living a life of a priest is not. Living a life of a sister of a love is not. As a teacher, it's not easy. As a mom, as a dad, it's not easy. Nothing is easy in this life. Okay? But we as a Christian, we could say everything is possible with Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything is possible with Jesus Christ. If we place our faith, our conviction, our trust in the Lord, we will be in triumph. These men and women, life was not easy for them, but they persevered. They have fought a good fight. They remain faithful to Christ, faithful to God. Each and every one of you, we can become, and this is what we are called to be, of sense. We need to pray every day. Every day we need to pray to ask of the Lord to help us to become of sense, to live as his sons and daughters in the world of God, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for Pope Francis, Archbishop Thomas Winsky, his assistant bishops, priests, deacons, and religious brothers and sisters that they may be inspired by the witness of the saints and strive for holiness in their vocation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our principal, teachers, faculty, and school staff, that God will continue to fill them with his strength and peace as they work to make our school a home for the gospel of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For ourselves, that we might treasure our baptism, which has made us one in Christ, a communion of saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the sick, the lost, the agony, the dying, and those who have died, that Christ may give them the healing that they need and fulfill the destiny to which they were created. We pray to the Lord. Lord, God. Let us now have a moment of quiet reflection for our personal petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, God. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the day of all saints. Help us to strive to become like them, to please you in all our ways of life. And we make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Please be saved.
Christian. Give me things that can help us when it means your presence and minister to you. How many will pray that we're taking on the body of the Christ? We may be down with the one that the Holy Spirit. Remember that all your church spread to our world and bring her to the fullness of charity. See that you'll have a Francis for the salvation of the Lord and the clergy. Remember us our brothers and sisters who have fallen us in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the spouse, through the Blessed Apostles and all the saints in heaven, who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may bear it to be coerced to eternal life, and be praised and glorified by you through your Son, Jesus Christ. So, the men with the in the name of God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit,
as we are coming to receive the body of Christ, we do that with respect and reverence for the body of Christ. After we finish to receive the body of Christ, please remain in the pews silently and pray. It's not the moment for you to talk while you have the body of Christ in your mouth. You have to thank God, thank Christ for coming to your life and through, uh, through his body that the Eucharist. And those who are not uh, receiving uh, the communion yet, who have not done the first communion yet, please remain in your pews and, and pray. You don't have to come today for a blessing because I will do a general blessing.
Teresa of Calcutta was a virgin nun missionary at Paris.
is for all souls. We pray for all our uh, uh, family and friends, parishioners who have come, and may the Lord receive them. As we are going to God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your sense, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. We ask for this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of your outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessing. We say, Amen. Free you from the intercession from present guilt and form by the, by the example of your holy way of life. May you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. We say, Amen. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that your children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the Thank you. 